Is it Back to the Future with you in internet time? The internet's time synchronization mechanism can be exploited to cause debilitating outages, snoop on encrypted comms, and even tamper with Bitcoin transactions. The vulnerability resides in the network time protocol used by computers to ensure accurate time. Connection to these NTP servers are normally not encrypted, making them easy targets for attacks. In the recent paper from researchers from Boston University, they describe a technique to bypass measures designed to prevent such drastic time shifts on computers. The paper also describes ways to prevent large number of computers for successfully connecting to synchronization servers. An attack that prevented sensitive computers and servers from receiving regular time synchronization updates could cause malfunctions on a mass scale. In many cases, such a DNS or DOS or denial of service hack can be carried out even when attackers are off path, meaning the hacker may, uh, need not have the ability to monitor traffic passing between the two servers. Even worse, the attacks can be used to snoop on encrypted traffic or to bypass important security measures such as DNSX specification, preventing the tampering of domain name system records. The most troubling scenario involves bypassing HTTPS encryption by forcing a computer to accept an expired transport layer security certificate. The Boston University researchers have pu published an information page that helps people diagnose and remedy the NTTP weakness, both on client computers and servers that provide the time synchronization service. If you're an IT worker, there's getting fired, and then there's getting fired by SunTrust banks. The Atlanta division of SunTrust is laying off 100 IT workers and moving their positions offshore. That's sad, but commonplace. In the weeks before they are finally let go, these workers will have to train their replacements. Again, sad, but commonplace. What isn't commonplace is a leaked provision of the SunTrust severance package that seems to include a clause for continuing cooperation of those employees two years after the end of their employment with no further pay. To be fair, the clause does include the provision that former employees will be requested, quote, at such times and in such a manner so as to not unreasonably interfere with subsequent employment, unquote, though it leaves a pretty big gray area as to what reasonable interference actually means when you're being asked to do your old job for no pay because your cheaper replacement couldn't do it properly. It's also possible that the severance package is fantastically generous and that the $189 billion company is actually making a good faith offer, but Sun Banks Atlanta did not reply to our request for more information.